Hello everyone, my name is Satya Shrestha. I am a staff multi-cloud solutions architect here at VMware. Today in this video demonstration, I will show you how to create VMware clouds in most popular public cloud providers. We will create VMware clouds on Azure VMware solution, also known as AVS, Google Cloud VMware Engine, ZCVE, and VMware Cloud on AWS, also known as VMC on AWS. Let's get started. As with any cloud STDC environment, we'll need a set of IP addresses allocated to STDC infrastructure, STDC workload networks, and native public cloud networks. In this diagram, you can see for Azure VMware Solution STDC or Azure Private Cloud, we have allocated IP address range in this manner. For VNet, it is 10.221.0.0/16. For STDC infrastructure residing on Azure VMware Solution, it is 10.21.0.0/16. And for STDC workload, it is 10.121.0.0/16. Similarly, when we spin up Google Cloud VMware Engine, this is how you're going to allocate the IP addresses. For VPC network, it will be side range of 10.222.0.0/16 for Google Cloud VMware Engine side of thing for STDC infrastructure the side range will be 10.22.0.0/16 for STDC workload it will be 10.122.0.0/16 when it comes to VMware Cloud on AWS for VPC network it will be 10.223.0.0/16 for VMware Cloud and AWS networks, for STDC infrastructure, it will be 10.23.0.0/16, and for STDC workload, it will be 10.123.0.0/16. It is also very important that once the private cloud or STDCs are provisioned, these IP addresses, especially the ones within the STDCs or private clouds, cannot be changed. If it needs to be changed, we have to destroy the SDC and reprovision it. So that's why it's very important that we have all the IP addresses already pre-planned and allocated for your SDCs. Now let's move on to Azure VMware solution and let's see how we can start provisioning Azure VMware solution in Azure portal. I'm currently logging on to Azure portal. Azure VMware solution is Microsoft Azure's native service. So it is available from Azure portal. As you can see in this hamburger menu, you can see Azure VMware solution right there along with other Azure services. Click on that one. Once you are there, you can click on create Azure private cloud. In this create a private cloud page, select the subscription MCA Azure AVS in our case and select the resource group MCA AVS demo RZ for location it's US East US uh, for resource name we'll need to put an appropriate resource name there so in our case the resource name is MCA AVS demo STDC in SKU field AV36 node that's the only node available for ESXi host we will choose 3, 3 is the minimum uh, for address block, we're going to put our side arrays as we have decided. The side arrays in our case, the address block for the SDC is going to be 10.21.0.0/16. For virtual network, we will keep it blank for now. We'll do the connection at the later stage for this SDC. You could tag if you want, but in this case, we're just going to click on review and create. And in this summary page, click on that create button to create the STDC. As you can see, the deployment is now in progress. It's going to take around 90 minutes to two and a half hour for this STDC to be created. Okay, once the STDC is created, you can see various details here for your STDC. Details such as resource group, your location, which is East US here and also the side range that we selected during our setup process. You can also see the number of hosts for this SCTC is three. In the identity page, you can see information like login credentials, your vCenter credential, uh, same thing with your uh, other credentials for 
NSXT manager, which is available through a web client URL. The IP address you can see there is 10.21.0.3. Uh, see all these IP ad addresses that you can see is actually coming from the side range we chose earlier for SNTC management. You also have admin user and also admin password for your NSXT manager. And that's it. Uh, it was very easy to create Azure VMware Solutions SCDC or private cloud. Very, very straightforward process. Okay, now it's time to spin up Google Cloud VMware Engine SDDC in Google Cloud Platform. Let's log on to console.cloud.google.com. That's where we will find the Google Cloud VMware Engine. Uh, Google Cloud VMware Engine is uh, Google's native offering. So you can already see here in Google's menu VMware Engine there. So click on VMware Engine. In this Google Cloud VMware Engine page, click on Create New Private Cloud. For private cloud name, we're going to use MCA GCVE Demo STDC. Location is going to be US West 2. It only has one standard node today, so it's uh, just pre-selected for node count. A minimum is three. We're going to select three. For cider block, that's the cider block we selected earlier. So 10.22.0.0. And for hash deployment, we'll be using the cider range from the same supernet. So in this case, it's going to be 10.22.4.0 for hash once everything looks okay, we should be good to go with review and create. Click on review and create. And this will show us another page saying, hey, this can be created in a fast mode. Um, that's a good news. So we're going to go ahead and create it in a fast mode. When you create it in fast mode, the SDC gets created really quickly. So, um, you know, sometimes 60 minutes, sometimes 45 minutes. Now the SCDC is getting provisioned. Okay, it took about 45 minutes for this SCDC to be created. On this just a summary page, you can see total node count as three. You have your total cluster as one, and you also have total compute core, total storage, and total memory. You can see from there, clicking on view private cloud will bring me to the private cloud and the SCDC, MCA, GCV, demo SCDC. You can again see the similar kind of information there and the status is coming up as operational. Clicking on MCA DCV demo STDC will bring me to the STDC page where you can see the summary of resources again, name of the STDC, operational status, uh, and also the side range for VSA vSAN under side range is 10.22.0.0 22. The same management cider that we used earlier. You can also see the node information, your total capacity for your resources, CPU, RAM, and storage, and also your technology stack, VSphere version, your NSXT advanced edition, and also has six manager cloud version. Okay, so this Google Cloud VMware engine is now up and running and fully functional. Now VSphere admins can start managing and operating this VMware STDC as any other on-prem STDCs. Now let's find out how it is to spin up an STDC on VMware Cloud on AWS. Now for that, we're gonna go to console.cloud.vmware.com and as I log on, you will see the VMware Cloud and AWS console. Now I have many organizations in my account. Uh, I'm going to select the right org here. Uh, in my case, it will be multi-cloud demo lab. Then we click on this VMware Cloud AWS tile. And then click on STDC. And on the top right corner here, click on create STDC. Now, how are we going to create this STDC? So AWS reason is going to be US West Oregon. It is a multi-host cluster. Uh, we're going to use the host type as i3 with local SSD. Uh, STDC name is going to be MCA VMC demo STDC. We will have three hosts in this cluster. 
and as you can see it will automatically populate the total capacity uh, of this cluster so advanced configuration so here stdc upline size we're going to keep it as default minimum because it's going to be a small cluster if you have large number of uh, virtual machines in it for example uh, thousands of uh, vdis in here you would be selecting large but in my case it's going to be medium next so here in this step uh, it is asking us to select AWS account that we want to connect to. So it is also called connected AWS account. For me, it's already popular here. I'm, I'm going to leave it as is. If you choose to, you could actually use a completely different AWS account as well to connect to this SCDC. For now, we'll just go with our existing account. Click on next. Now for VPC and subnet, I have already created a VPC which has the side range of 10.223.0.0/22. And for this STDC, I'm going to use the subnet uh, MCS subnet demo 2 US West 2 B. Click on next here. Now configuring the network here, which is a management subnet, we need to make sure that these IP addresses are 100% accurate. As per our earlier diagram, it's going to be 10.23.0.0 slash 16. That's going to be a management subnet. Click on next here. And if everything looks okay, we can just click on these checkboxes and click on deploy STDC. So it took about 90 minutes for this STDC to come up. And now you can see here the summary of this stdc you can see the name of the stdc is mca vmc demo stdc we have selected reason as oregon which is here you can see it we got three hosts 108 cores and you can see the capacity for cpu memory and storage here and that's it for this video i hope you found this video useful thank you for watching and see you again